Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I just feel like I have been run over by a Mack truck that um, this was hard today. It was hard being on the Dan Salio show. It's hard to be excited right now with the Cowboys, knowing that we are doing the same stupid shit and expecting a different result. Um, it is what it is. Um, but maybe there is some hope on the horizon that Jerry Jones will come and save the day now that he has got his paternity trial out of the way. And we've gotten some details here uh, from the New York Post about what transpired with this whole situation. And this is literally like a Jerry Springer show. Um, I have to actually read this to you guys because this is crazy. And, and hopefully the settlement wasn't the money to pay Dak, CD, and Micah. But we'll have to wait and see. There's no disclosure of how much money the settlement was, but it is what it is. Although Jerry Jones' paternity trial has now ended via settlement, the lone day of court activity still provides a Madrid of memorable moments. As 27-year-old Alexandria Davis claimed that she was the daughter of Dallas Cowboys owner, her mother Cynthia, who signed a paternity-related contract with Jones in 1998, reportedly broke down in tears while on the witness stand. According to F, uh, WFAA, Cynthia Davis wept so much that the judge of the case asked for a break, and Jones himself even greeted her with a hug. The 81-year-old billionaire sued Alexandria and Cynthia Davis after claiming that the affirmation contract was violated. So here's the thing. The alleged daughter wanted him to take a paternity test to prove that he is the father. He countersued her for breach of contract, not confirming nor denying that he is the father. Jones had apparently paid Alexandria tens of thousands of dollars, but repeatedly denied that she was his daughter. However, the Davies and their attorneys uh, positioned that Jones actually recognized her as his child, uh, including at a Cowboys Club Christmas party in 2019, when Jones allegedly told Cynthia's friend that he had two daughters, one being Alexandra, and loved them both the same. He didn't mean it. He was never going to talk to her, Cynthia said on Monday. Davis attorney Jay Gray claimed that the Joneses had officially, effectively suing to defend his own name rather than admit the truth, calling the actions a very Jones thing to do. He knows he's the real father, but now he's vindictive because his real family has been hurt, Gray said, referring to Jones not wanting to reveal having a daughter with Davis instead of his wife. Meanwhile, Jones' representatives created some stir of their own after playing a 2011 clip from Big Rich, Texas, in which Cynthia Davis uttered that men only want money. Cynthia, though, countered that she was told by the show's producers to say the line. Moreover, Jones' team suggested that Cynthia told Alexandria to lie when sharing a note that Donald Jack Jones' attorney at a 2017 dinner. This, this is crazy. The note supposedly mentioned that Alexandria merely wanted to speak to Jones for 15 minutes, yet was also issued a month before Alexandria was set to turn 21 and no longer receiving payments from Jones. Cynthia seems to explain the decision, which she said she regretted by citing that she was undergoing chemotherapy in 2017 and that Alexandria therapist had recommended the measure. While Jones himself had slated to speak on Tuesday, that was upended when the settlement was reached. With an unconventional case in the rearview mirror, Jones will now turn his attention to training camp, which the Cowboys report on Thursday in Oxnard, California. Um, they actually reported yesterday, or excuse me, they flew in yesterday. Uh, today is the day that you actually have to check in and be there. And tomorrow will be the first practice. So there's that. So maybe now 
Jerry Jones, who's been dealing with this, has gotten this out of the way, that maybe, just maybe, he'll get to Oxnard and they'll start working on some business here on getting players under contract and getting CD Lamb in. Um, this was hard for me today being on the Dan Leo show. The Philly 500 and Dan are there with their shit eating grin and laughing and joking because the Cowboys have CD Lamb holding out. And that, you know, even Brandon Ayuk, who has literally been all over the place and demanding trades and stuff, he's even there, at least in San Francisco, holding in. Whereas the Cowboys, we've done nothing. We've done nothing. But I'll say that this is the low point right now and that we have nowhere to go but up. We do. We got nowhere to go but up. Um, it only can get better from here. Can't get much worse. It really can't. So if anything breaks, we will bring it to you. As always, I appreciate you guys. And uh, keep the faith. As hard as it is, keep the faith.